Uh, my name is Henry Hoshgasser, and we're recording a video. <laughs> uh, I'm making an exhaust for my remote control car, or a muffler. I went to the uh, library website, and I knew that they had a 3D printing service. So I click on that, and they had this whole uh, section. So that's where I found the um, email address that I had to email the file to, to print it. And all like the file type and all the colors and all that. So I checked with that first. And then um, what I did is I went to the game files of the game that I wanted to take the exhaust from. I used a bmng.drive game. I just found the model of the car in the file and then took that, it's already on my desktop. And then I opened it up in Blender, which is a 3D modeling software. Um, and then what I did was I um, deleted everything except for the exhaust. I just had the file for the exhaust pipe in the back. And then what I did, I went and opened Tinkercad and I imported the file into Tinkercad, did that, which is another 3D modeling software where it's kind of more user-friendly. I figured out the dimensions by measuring the back of my car uh, to figure out how I wanted it scaled. And then I emailed it to the email address with the file, the color, and the dimensions. And he gave me the price. Uh, we went to a 3D printing class there, and uh, they told us how you can um, send files to the library, and uh, they'll print it out for you for a very low price. I learned this uh, by going to school, basically. We learned measurements and just tinkering around with stuff, figuring out how to do stuff on my computer. Yes, I mean, it was a dollar. It'll come in like a week or two, so. I would love to do this in school, just so much more hands-on stuff that I can actually use. Something where they present people with a problem and then they have to figure out a way to solve that problem or do something like that where it's not you follow these instructions. It's more like, okay, figure out how a way to do this or fix this or something like that. 